Not that long ago, we had a headline like the one behind me where hackers trying to take advantage of the COVID-19 situation began to ask for ransom from medical research facilities and hospitals. Unfortunately, this happened yet again today with a major U.S. municipality admitting that it had just paid over a million dollars in order to reclaim its files. How is this still happening? Honestly, we use EDR, we use antivirus, we use next-gen antivirus, we use firewalls and next-gen firewalls, and yet we still get headlines like this. Well, it's because there's something missing from the way that we do things today. Now, there are two broad technologies to address the threat of malware. There are things that are detection-based and there are things that are preventative in nature. If we think about a typical malware exploit, it starts when an end user clicks on a spear phishing link or otherwise contracts some kind of malware. And Although it might not be that serious to have one machine infected, the problem is, is that this malware typically uses unused ports or legacy ports that were never meant for peer-to-peer -peer operation to rapidly copy itself across the enterprise, often at a rate of hundreds to thousands of machines a minute. When we asked about 6,500 IT professionals how long it took them to identify that there was malware in their environment, you can see the results here. Unfortunately, the results are typically measured in hours, not in seconds, and the malware that they're trying to protect against is often able to move through hundreds or thousands of machines a minute. And so in this environment, we realized that detection alone, as good as it is, isn't enough. Something more had to be done. This is where a preventative technology comes into play. And finding something that can actually block traffic that's headed to laptops and stop the lateral spread is exactly what's needed for a zero day or when there hasn't been time to respond. You want machines to just not receive those inbound connections. And this is perfect if you're in a situation where you know that detection won't catch everything, if you could just turn off some of those legacy protocols and only enable them to the places they legitimately should be coming from, that would be huge. And if you could follow that up by limiting some of the peer-to-peer -peer type of protocols that might happen from people installing software on the laptops and things like that, if those protocols simply can't connect in a peer-to-peer -peer way, then many of the vectors for the spread of malware are immediately blocked making the whole thing more secure. So here's how it works. Illumio Edge is a very simple product. What we do is we enable you to put a zero trust policy directly on every single endpoint, all of the laptops. You can easily determine exactly what should be permitted because you can just pick it off of a list. Everything else is denied. It's that simple. And this is enough. When you put zero trust on a laptop, it's enough to significantly limit or completely eliminate the possibility of malware taking over before your detection and remediation technologies have had a chance to act. In this video, we only had a moment to consider the technical aspects of the solution. If you'd like to learn more, you can get the data sheet, it'll be linked in the description of this video, or you can head to the Illumio website where you can visit the architecture pages for Edge and get a full explanation of how this technology works.